Hey there, sign of Leo. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the full moon. It's going to be the full moon in Leo on the 28th. Um, so let's get started. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, um, all the support that I'm getting for this channel. I appreciate all of you. And we're going to start by calling in the divine white light to surround us as we do this reading and surround you as you watch the reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to give us messages for the highest good for the sign of Leo, please. And we are going to get started. So we're going to start with the archetype deck and then we will have more oracle cards drawn after that. Clarifying um, with the tarot at the end and tea leaves at the very end. So let's get started, Leo. Hope Leos are doing good. Alright, let's give it another shuffle. More so, this is the archetype deck, if I didn't say that. The mask and the river. So, so the mask isn't quite what you would think. It's not um, about putting on a fake anything. It's actually about the the face that you're wanting um the world and other people to see um just making sure that your goals and your values still align up with the picture you're portraying to everybody else um this card sometimes comes out when there's a little bit of theater um in the mix but mainly it is about um choosing to change the mask and change it to what actually suits you now. And it talks about how we wear different masks throughout our life, different periods of our life. Then the river is a really good card. The river is, um, not like that's not a good card, but the river is about um, being in flow. So, you know, um, that Abraham Hicks will talk about the law of attraction and the importance to be in flow. That's when you're gaining momentum, when you're in flow and things start manifesting for you. So I see the horse on the card and I'm figuring it will take some work to be in flow. But this card may, may be indicating that that's already where you are. And it also is kind of referencing the ego dissolving into the bigger you um, as the river runs to the sea. All right, so let's move on. Let's continue and we'll get some more Oracle cards. For Leo, please. For Leo, full moon in Leo, for Leo. Mm -hmm. Something needs mending. Something needs mending. When that card comes out, it just means that something needs to be um, set right. So a relationship, something like that, something needs to be set right. People, Some people aren't getting along. It doesn't necessarily have to be a very big conflict. But whatever it is, it's kind of indicating that this period right now will be focused on mending or um, tying up loose ends with other relationships in your life. Then we have chop wood, and there's an expression that says chop wood, carry water. And it's about keeping yourself kind of distracted from those um, lower vibration emotions by not thinking of them. So we keep our frequency or our vibration high when we're doing things that we might even consider mundane, but they're to help us get through without thinking or obsessing over negative things. So in return, it keeps our vibration high, which keeps us being in flow with what you actually desire instead of thinking of something you're not, which actually this uh, full moon in Leo does have something to do with that. It's a time where we're going to think of all the things and reminisce on stuff that we've done good. Kind of like b building our ego up almost um, with this moon. 
but it also has a tendency if you feel like for some reason that you haven't had goals accomplished or things in your life you can get focused on thinking about scarcity with this full moon so just be careful and make sure your thoughts are positive and that you're thinking of things that really only lift you up all right now we will get some cards from the spell casting deck for our Leos for the full moon in Leo. Spell casting. So we have mending, being in flow by chopping wood, staying busy, and a need to revamp what the world sees on the outside for you, Leo. All right, some spell casting cards, please, for Leo. All right. We've got a few cards that came out, so we'll take them all and we'll stop with these oracles. So we have fertility. Could mean something on the lines of what you're building is going to be successful, like whatever venture you're on, as it, it seems to represent the Empress card or the Empress power for me. Of course, it can always be uh, real fertility coming in your life, like tangible, I want to have a child fertility. Could be that. Then we have life purpose, as above, so below, with your life purpose card. So there may be something that comes about during this time that's pointing you to your life purpose, to whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing, to enrich your life, to keep you in flow, by the way, and empowerment. So maybe something about your life purpose is going to empower you in some way in your life, get you going forward, help you propelling forward, being in the flow. And then we have freedom. And this, this really relates a lot if you um, look at fertility as being a venture that's really successful, like entrepreneurship, something like that. It will give you freedom uh, to not feel chained down when you have more ability. So when you have the ability to make decisions yourself, when no one else can control how you're thinking or feeling, um, that's truly freedom and it uh, comes from this empowerment and the life purpose card so it's really it's really good reading it's all about your life purpose empowering you and things really going your way there's nothing really hateful here there's nothing about fighting so that's good let's get out the tarot and we're just gonna shuffle them and see kind of where they land and what their meaning would be based on that so for leo let's get started Tarot for Leo. As soon as I said, as soon as it said no, well, this isn't arguing. Um, this is a little bit of anxiety, worry, may have to do with your fertility, may have to do with your life purpose and your empowerment. Some people can be worried about becoming successful, um, and that can essentially be a block to them. So just just focus on healing those um, nerves and anxiety. Maybe even seeing somebody if you need to about it right, for Leo. What else do we have for Leo? Whoops. I think it was wanting to land on freedom. And um, we have the Three of Swords. So we do have some heartache. Not necessarily conflict as much as there's heartache and a loss feeling. It may be that heartache and loss feeling for freedom. Um, you know, longing for freedom, feeling like you've lost some freedom. It may have to do very well with that since it looked like it was going to land on it. All right, let's do some more. For Leo, please. Chop wood, life purpose, and mending. Nice. So over those three, we have the nine of pentacles, which means you're on your way. You're on your way to becoming very independent, um, less codependent on people for things. This also can signify a financial win for you, like a windfall. Um, but more than anything, it's your stability and it is about your freedom. They have the little snail in the picture too at the bottom. I always, it always kind of reminds me that this nine of pentacles might not be coming as fast as what you thought. 
but nonetheless it is coming and it's a very good uh, fruitful card for finances all right and then we have on the flow and the fertility so news that something is getting better that something is doing really good that's fast fast moving forward news um communication and i think it has to do about this life purpose being in the flow and how and seeing how well things are turning out with this fertility card see if we have anything else for leo please and we do across life purpose we have the hermit so something is really being relied on how you handle things inside how you handle your emotions inside getting some enlightenment by going in and maybe this enlightenment of the hermit the card of virgo is going to lead you to your life purpose and it might solve this insomnia or anxiety issues that we have here so going inside, finding your answers out from the inside. And let's pull you some tea leaves and then we'll wrap up your full moon reading. Mm -hmm. Okay, boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Frying pan, troubles or accusations, troubles or accusations, basket, recognition, reward for merit, barrel, you feel like something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals, it looks like money here with this issue, uh, February, if somebody needs a month, February, and then we have bear danger, especially in money matters. So be careful with your money. It looks like here we are mending your money issues. So just be careful um, when it comes to your money. All right, Leo, good advice all the time anyway. So sending love and light your way. Thanks for joining me, guys. Looks positive. We'll keep going positive. Join me for your next reading. Bye.